to the southern hemisphere now where the ebb and flow of that search for a missing plane seem to have reached another low. Australian search planes are heading back into the open Indian Ocean at this hour, but so far hours of scouring there have turned up nothing. Brian Moore reports on the increasingly frustrating search. Day 14 of the search for Malaysian Air Flight 370 began with high hopes. Search planes narrowing in on the spot where satellites captured what might or might not be wreckage from the missing craft. But after scouring more than 3,000 square kilometers, crews found nothing but frustration. Uh, we just landed from an 11-hour mission out to the uh, search area. Uh, it's unfortunate to say that we haven't found anything uh, out there. There's still plenty of sea left to search, an area the size of Australia. Located in an area so remote, it takes eight hours for search planes just to get there and back. That leaves little more than two hours to devote to actual searching. I've got every confidence that if there is an object there, that we will find it. And every time that we launch, we, we hold that hope. Uh, however, we're just, we're just going to keep going until we find it. What it is is still a matter of conjecture. The Australian Prime Minister, who raised hopes in announcing the most promising lead yet, was dialing back on Friday. It could just be a, a container that's fallen off a ship. Uh, we just don't know. But we owe it to the families and the friends and the loved ones of the almost 240 people on flight MH370 to do everything we can. The partner of passenger Philip Wood hopes the pieces of debris are not from flight 370. Because if they are, then that takes away the hope that the plane is actually hiding someplace with all the survivors alive on it, which is what I've held from the beginning. While search crews are looking for debris, they're also listening for the lost plane's flight recorders. Their emergency beacons have roughly two weeks of battery life remaining and may be the best hope of solving the mystery of Flight 370. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.